Alrighty, so, um, you guys, you, you know the episode where I went over all the transformations. You can do an open scad. If you're watching this playlist, you probably just watched it. In fact, yeah, you, you would have just watched it, assuming you're watching playlist in order. Well, I, um, this is kind of embarrassing, <laughs> but I kind of screwed up. So, yeah, as we're doing the color transformation, which is actually, when once you figure it out, really simple, so I don't know how I had such an idiot moment. If I had a book here, I'd, oh, well. Yeah, anyway, so I'm just here to fix what I did stupidly with the color. So you can still do the quotes with the color, word color in it, like blue, red, and whatnot, and this list is actually a whole lot bigger than I expected, there's a lot more colors you can put the word in than just blue, red, green, yellow, stuff like that, so many that I listing them would probably take an hour, so I'll just put a link to the wiki page with it all in there down in the description. And the da doobly doo. The doobly doo. Where did that start anyway? Seems like everyone's calling it the doobly doo. Oh, well. Uh, I, I don't feel like stealing memes today. Oh, wait, I just did. Nee. So, anyway, besides that, we also went over the bracket style, which still works except when you try to do this like let's see I did 255 like that yeah that doesn't work and if I would have just looked down here instead of bling 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 instead of being a stupid blind dumb person bleh, uh, I would have seen that color expects numbers between 1.0 and, and 0, 0.0 not 255 like most color does and you know when you think about it it's really weird cuz in most every programming language color is used as an 8-bit string which means it's 1 through 255 but apparently here it's a float, which is one point something to or zero point something to one point something. So what we can do here is instead of two fifty five, you put in a one, and that's your blue. Yay! And we can also put in the green, let's say point five, and we get ooh, that's a cool color. I like that color. And then maybe something like point two five in the red column. And you see, you get slightly different colors. And you can change these out and make that a one, and whoa! That's an interesting pinkish purpley color. Let's see if we make that one a one. And you get white. Kind of off white. It's probably just the shading effect. So there's white, and you make them all zero. All zero, and you get the black. And you can make them all the same number, like 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 and 0 0.5, and you get gray, and uh, it's pretty large stuff. It's just play around with it. You'll get a feel for what these numbers mean. There's also a third number here. So it's more of a RGBT as this last number. It works the same way, but it's transparency of it. You put in a 1 and it's just as if you didn't put the number in there it's completely solid if you put in a zero you'll notice the thing disappears it doesn't actually disappear what actually happened is I just made it completely transparent so if I put in a low number like point two it'll be mostly transparent and just kind of there and just barely see it point five it's halfway between gone and solid. I found point seven's really good if you're trying to determine um, 
where something is on something. So like if you want so if you're trying to get like a pattern like say a star centered in a circle, I what I like to do is make the star about 0.7 on transparency and then put a peg right in the middle which is really easy you just put a cylinder down and don't move it and it's just naturally in the middle and then just move that around until the cylinder looks about right I mean granted that doesn't work for super accurate engineering stuff then you need like fancy math and everything but who's got time for fancy math I want to make it look pretty I just gene make it look pretty so that's the update on how color works is God I'm an idiot sometimes. Oh uh hopefully it didn't annoy you too much that I failed on the last episode. To make up for it, I think I'll just not put ads on this one. Yeah. Well anyway, bye everyone. And we're back to the shaky voice. Okay. Bye. Bye.